you got good almonds, good food and good boys. Okay guys, so welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello my darling. Please don't forget to subscribe, to join the family and of course follow me on Insta. So guys, today I am finally doing it. I am going to share with you some really, really good coffee fragrances. So without further ado, I don't want it to be the longest video ever. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So I'm going to start with a few fragrances that I just don't have with me at the moment. And I'm going to start with the one that I actually, um, my mom stole it from me and it's just going to stay there, okay? And that is Lalique Soleil. And this is basically a fragrance that kick-started my channel, so I should be very, very grateful to it. And that is a beautiful, fresh, fruity gourmand. Um, it has a lot of very contradicting notes, but for some reason they really work together. You have milk, coffee, cardamom, uh, you have some fruits in there, uh, you have some praline notes. So, you know, this is just such a blast of sweetness, but for some reason it's not too sweet. And that coffee in there really, really makes it work, especially that you also have milk and cord in there. So yeah, this is a beautiful, beautiful combination of notes. On my skin, I wouldn't say um, it really, really works because for some reason I have an issue with praline. I don't know why, I just do. But on my mom, it smells absolutely exquisite and it has the most beautiful bottle, of course, because it's Lalique, right? But they made such an amazing job with the bottle. It's so exquisite. Um, I actually was able to get it quite cheap, but I heard from many of my YouTube friends that um, they got it very, very expensive. So I will try to find a link below for you guys um where you can purchase it with a decent price so check the description box but yes that's Lalique Soleil this is a very creamy praliney smooth spicy fragrance very very nice one and also you have a lot of pear there so yeah very very good next one we have Hugo Boss the scent for her, but the absolute version. I know that um, there was a time when there was a massive hype for the Naughty Sister, which is the private accord for her here on YouTube. People loved it, but um, on most of people, it didn't last that long. With the absolute version, it's mainly a coffee-based fragrance. And like on me, it's like almost only coffee and I really like it for that you know it's very mature it's not as gourmand as a uh, private accord mm, it's to me it's just grown up grown up fragrance but still with a nice coffee touch to it so I really like it for that and I must say the absolute version at least on my skin is way more long lasting um, than the private accord I'm not saying it's a beast mode because it's not. I think it's around like six hours, but you still get six hours versus two with the Sun Private Accord. So try the coffee version because to me it's just more grown up, mature, but it's still very sexy and edible. Okay, and last one that I don't have here with me is by Dolce & Gabbana and that is uh, the only one Two. So many people were either raving about the first one, the only one, uh, then there was the only one too that is basically just came unnoticed and then there was my personal love which is the only one intense. However, the only one too is actually very good, is way way better than the first one which is the only one. Um, to me, the only one, even though I thought I would love the profile because, you know, it's like uh, gourmandish, it's like toffee caramel. No, no, it has coffee as well, but I much, much more recommend the two version, number two, which is in the red bottle. That one starts with a blast of red fruit. So you get some zest, you get some crispiness, uh, but you also get a little bit of sourness. 
uh, and that beautiful fruity sweetness that envelops as you go further with the fragrance and then you get coffee so this to me is way more interesting this at least is something that not many designer brands have done before you know because it's not like your typical coffee and vanilla or coffee caramel like the previous version or the infamous black opium right so i think the best bet if you still want some coffee in your fragrance but you want something interesting i think the only one too would be better and also i must say the longevity on the only one too is better than the previous version i'm not gonna say it's better than the only one intense because it's not but it's right in the middle so it's fine and also uh, i'm just gonna quickly breeze through the one that i don't have with me and i probably never will and that is the black opium and i want to talk about the whole range because recently uh, the new brother sister was released which is the black opium extreme and that is definitely a heavy one on the coffee i tested it i tested this in sephora last week and i must say it's not that bad but on me it leans quite heavy on the cocoa 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 cacao i don't know i don't know cacao um and it's quite a powdery cacao and also then you get patchouli so if you like the mix of the earthy tones of patchouli with the cacao and then the coffee then it might be interesting I'm not saying it's like groundbreaking of a fragrance uh, but I must say it was quite long lasting because uh, I went back home I did some stuff at home and I could still smell it right before I showered so you know many many hours lasted till I smelt it do that make sense? I hope so it's very late now so I might be a little bit you know tired um, but I think the one that I like the most out of the whole range is the intense version. So the one that has absinthe and um, licorice. It's very nice. Alright guys, now I have two Killians for you. The first one is Black Phantom. And this one is really good. Mm, actually let me spray it on my skin why not why not yes it's like chocolate coffee goodness oh I would say it's definitely unisex and if your dude likes dark chocolate vibes he would be in love however I'm not sure if too many guys love to smell like chocolate, but we girls surely do. And I wouldn't really mind smelling like this. This is so nice. Like literally, this is your typical, typical dark version of Killian. All those smokes and cellars, this is it. Typical Killian vibe, but make it chocolate and coffee so good this is fantastic and the longevity on this one is abnormal delicious as the chocolate in it another one that is to me definitely on more masculine side because to me as much as black phantom is like mainly chocolate um and like dark chocolate and coffee this one is cardamom and coffee and that is none other but intoxicated and I have a very nice travel size of it Ooh. and I actually must say I really like when my boyfriend wears it yes this one is more spicy I would say a uh, black phantom is more of a winter type of scent you know what I mean it's dense it's almost gourmand. I mean, it's it's definitely leaning gourmand because of the chocolate. And it's very heavy. Like, 
and you don't want to wear this in summertime. Trust me, you don't. It's going to be a little bit too much. Maybe during the night, okay. But in the high heat, no, this is not what you want to wear. However, with intoxicated, I would say it's definitely not as gourmand. It's not even close. To me, it's a spicy coffee. And it's a little bit fresher. I think um, if a guy would be wearing this, uh, he would totally pull this off, not only in the winter, but in hotter weather as well. Especially for evenings. This to me is a perfect date night scent, both of them. But Black Phantom would be more like your winter time and Intoxicated would be all year round but definitely more masculine leaning. So that's my two cents on those two Killians. However, I must say uh, the coffee in them is done to perfection. It's so, so nice. So that's that. The next fragrance that I want to show you is the one that actually I am decluttering. I'm going to keep it completely transparent here, but I wanted to show this to you. Um, I don't want to say one last time because me decluttering is basically me giving away fragrances to my mom so she can use them up and if I really need the not to have the bottle for the videos, I can just grab it, you know, so that's very sneaky of me. But yeah, this is going away. And this is a beautiful coffee scent, I must admit. If you are more of a girly girl, feminine female, you know what I mean? And you don't want something as unisex as Killian can be, I think you're gonna love this one. And that is A Love by Sophia. And I don't see many people talk about it, uh, especially in coffee videos. I mean, let's be honest, I didn't watch many coffee videos or many perfume videos on YouTube to be honest because if it's your job guys like the last thing you want to do in your spare time is to watch YouTube trust me trust me so this I love love by Sophia this has a very nice fruity vanilla punch to it but you get that nice dreamy coffee like Colombian coffee Wow, this one I really like. Why am I decluttering this again? No, I think it's staying. <laughs> I think it's staying, guys. Oh, it's so good. Oh yes, I know why. Um, I actually intended to use up my fragrances, so I left the Sophia with me and this one is going to my mom, but it doesn't change the fact that this is a lovely fragrance. And out of them two, to be completely honest, I, I don't want to say take one or the other. I have a full review of them, but if you like coffee, you will surely like this one more. Um, this has slight, slight vibe of black opium, but not nearly as... Um, I don't want to say artificial because these ingredients here are artificial as well. But Black Opium has that particular scent that develops as it sits on your skin that makes it... I don't know, maybe it's just my skin, but it just doesn't work well. And this one, it stays very nice till the very end. So to me, this one is way better than Black Opium, I'll be honest with you. I like it more. Um, it has more facets to it. To me, Black Opium is very, very linear. And this one is not, this one actually changes throughout, you know, sometimes you get more fruit, sometimes you get more coffee, and that coffee makes that fragrance quite mature and darker, you know. It's definitely a mature kind of coffee scent, but still very flirty and feminine. So I really like it about that, and the longevity is very nice, I must say, around six to seven hours with moderate projections, so for the price it is basically a treat. So that's Love by Sophia. Then I have two fragrances by Navitus Parfum and I, guys, I am in love with the brand at the moment. I am having Navitus moment. 
I really am. I really am. Um, so the first coffee fragrance from the brand that I want to share with you is Soir Exclusive. And it comes in this beautiful bottle. And guys, oh, I love this so much. So, so much. This is so good. Mm. It's almond. It's honey. It is coffee. It's vanilla. It's just gorgeous. So Soir Exclusive is definitely one of my absolute favorites from the brand. Mm. Guys, this one is almond, coffee, marshmallow, vanilla, tonka, ambergris, woody notes. It is just divine. Trust me when I say this. This is such a great combination. I am, I am head over heels with this one. Uh, this is Parfum Concentration, guys. So this is strong. This is strong. It has so much perfume oil. Actually, it has only 72% of alcohol. So the rest is perfume oil. So imagine that. It's very, very high concentration. So Soir Exclusive. It, I can't even say what it reminds me of because there's nothing like it. I, I just can't. I just can't, guys. This is basically such a gorgeous fragrance. I say it's unisex, yes, but because of that marshmallow and loads of vanilla, I would say it's leaning feminine. I would definitely say it's leaning feminine, but I would see a guy wearing this. This one, if I'm not mistaken, has been created uh, in collaboration with Big Beard Business here on YouTube. So shout out to him. Great job. Just lovely, guys. It's sweet, it's seductive, it's opulent. It's everything to me. I love this. And I find it to be a great, great fragrance for upcoming months. So for winter, amazing. Just I got it just in time. Just in time. So that is Soir Exclusive. And the next one, which I think I love even more, which is hard to do because I love Soir Exclusive so much. But I think this one I love even more. And that is the Embrace. And again, Parfum Concentration. This one has 74% of alcohol and this has been created in collaboration with Monika Choch. And the Embrace is basically everything that I dreamt of when it comes to a almondy and overall nutty fragrance. Guys, this is literally what I wanted and here uh, coffee is in the heart of the fragrance, whereas in Soir Exclusive it's at the top. So you, uh, in Soir Exclusive, you smell coffee right from the start and then it settles down to something else. With this, you actually get into a coffee note after a while. So it's a different structure. But my goodness, is this amazing. This is, this is hands down my favorite from the brand. I'll be completely honest, guys. It was very hard to choose, but with this one, it just takes the cake for me. It really takes the cake and it's it's just amazing. So this one is Bitter Orange, uh, Sesame Absolute and South African Almond. Uh, hello to all my fellow South Africans. Mm. You got good almonds, good food and good boys. Right, honey? <laughs> so, the Embrace is, if you love Nutty Gourmands, you're gonna love this. You're really gonna love this. The coffee shows up after a while, as I said, so within the second hour, on my skin at least. Uh, and this is a very smooth, mellow coffee note, but it just complements everything in this fragrance and gives it off a little bit more darkness. I really, really like that. The, the note structure in here is absolutely fantastic, guys. I am in love with the scent. I really am. And again, the bottles are so nice and they are so super heavy. 
fantastic. So that is the Embrace by Navitus. And uh, I have two more fragrances to talk about. And these are gonna be two Montals. For some reason, weirdly, I'm going in pairs. Like, we have two Killians, two Navitus, and now we have two Montals. Weird. But yeah. So, of course, Intense Cafe. My OG, it's like my signature scent, I shall say. Um, even though I wouldn't call it that because it's quite hard to pull off in the summertime sometimes. So I, maybe I wouldn't call it signature. I would say it's like winter fragrance. It's colder weather fragrance, evening fragrance. But for all those occasions above mentioned, exquisite. Extremely sexy, extremely sweet. Uh, this one is coffee, rose, vanilla. It's just beautiful. It is just beautiful. It's definitely more on the artificial side. And for example, with Navitus, you get very re realistically smelling ingredients. You know, you can smell there's a lot of natural ingredients to it. Whereas in Montal, you, you do get that artificial vibe, but in this case, it doesn't bother me at all. I actually love it. I personally just love it. So, Intense Cafe, you just have to have it in your collection. That's it, that, that's all I can say. You just have to have it in your collection. But before you do that, I want to talk about another Montal that's also coffee based and it was recently released and that is Ristretto Intense Cafe which I will be getting soon and if you love Coffee Note a lot you will be even more pleased to hear that Ristretto Intense Cafe is even more potent on coffee um, and it has some additional notes like is a caramel or toffee, something like that. So it's even sweeter, even denser, and even more coffee. Both of them have absolutely amazing projection and longevity. You just have to be aware with uh, Montal X-Tray de Parfum, which Ristretto is one. Uh, when you spray it on your skin, it is very oily. I experienced that with the Intense Roses Mask. It's like pure oil on your skin. You you literally have to rub your scent a little bit because you're gonna have oily patches. So what I do with the extra de parfum from Montal, I spray myself when I'm just in the lingerie. I rub um, the scent basically all over with my hands and it gives me additional glow to the skin, which is a plus, always, right? Um, and then I just put it in my hair because, you know, it's oil, so good for hair, no matter what oil it is, at least it makes them shiny, right? Um, so yeah, just be careful on your clothing. I don't experience that with the Intense Cafe, the original, but with Ristretto, you might have to be careful. But I love it so, so much. They are absolutely amazing. So yeah guys, that is that when it comes to my coffee fragrances. I really, really started loving coffee and perfumes recently and especially for fall and winter, they're going to be exquisite. So yes guys, I hope you liked it. I love you so, so much and see you in my next one. Bye!